Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the March 21st Daily Inspirational Message. The condensed version is two paragraphs long. Then I'll center myself, say, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Okay, here we go. The title, Ending the Ego's Rat Race. Paragraph one. The ego tries to convince us that we need what the other person has. It tries to convince us of a world of scarcity, where if one wins, the other must lose. If we buy into this mindset, we spend our lives on its hamster wheel and rat race, fighting a way to get to the, some imaginary finish line before the others do. We claw our way step by step, day by day, up the ego's steep and treacherous mountain, always thinking that we only have a limited amount of time to get to the top. That is exactly where the ego wants us, tired, worried, and stressed out. For the busier we are, the less time we have to question it and its mindset. Aligned with this mindset, we judge that our progress is not fast enough, good enough, or worthy of the work and sacrifice we have put in. Paragraph 2. Today, if we find ourselves running in the Eagles rat race, let us stop, breathe deeply, and choose God's timing over ours. When we choose divine timing, peace results. When we choose the ego's timing, chaos, conflict, anger, and resentment result. Love is our creator and peace is an expression of love. Peace is thus our natural state of mind and inheritance. But through free will, we must accept our inherit inheritance to truly enjoy it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Our journey is a sacred partnership with God. Let us recall that we are not some rodent on some hamster wheel. We are the creations of the divine. Today, let us fully trust in the sacred nature of the plan that we have co-created with God and be at peace. What rat race must we now or even again run if we already have God's love? If we already have everything that in truth we have ever wanted? <clears throat> okay, ending the ego's rat race. We're going to focus on two points today. And um, they're mentioned throughout the 365 uh, days of, last, of um, inspirational messages. But there are key points. Uh, <clears throat> and the two key points for the Eagles, ending the Eagles' right race is trusting in the divine design and trusting in divine timing. Let's take an example. An average day. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to work, I get up, and uh, I feel like I'm uh, late to work, so I start to judge myself. And then I go into traffic and start to being judgmental and resentful of other drivers because either they're driving too slow or too fast or whatever. I think it was George Carlin who said, uh, <laughs> everybody who drives slower than me is, is is an idiot and everybody who's driving faster than me is a maniac. <laughs> so that's the ego's mindset. But when you're trusting in divine timing, in the divine design, you're always doing the best you can, but you know you're always gonna get there when you're gonna get there. Like God has your back and so the universe is gonna offer you the timing that's perfect for you. It might not be the ego's timing, but again, you do the best you can, and then you trust source. You trust the divine design. Listen, I'm doing the best I can. I'll get there when I get there, <laughs> you know. And uh, instead of uh, judging and being resentful of other drivers cutting you off or what have you, maybe you trust in the divine design and divine timing. Okay, I, I, I got to this point in this intersection was the, the, with this individual. I can either be resentful <laughs> encourage that individual or I can say a little prayer for him and let him go ahead of me <clears throat> and so um, 
you make you can make your life a living hell or a heavenly place on earth it's all your own decisions it's all are you trusting in divine design or are you trusting in the ego's plan are you trusting in the, in the divine timing or are you trusting in the ego's timing that if you don't get there at x point then somehow others are to blame or you're to blame or you're not s smart enough to wake up early or, or what the hundred stories of the ego and then you get to work and the ego says uh, you, know, you have a very right to be judgmental or resentful of this person uh, but where does that ever get you where does the ego's plans and and programming that ever get you it never gets you to the state of peace right so why not try instead trusting in the divine design okay <clears throat> this situation is occurring I can either see it through love's lens through God's eyes or through the ego's eyes if I'm seeing through the ego's eyes I'm gonna judge I'm gonna be frustrated I'm gonna criticize I'm gonna hate I'm not gonna want revenge but where does that where does that ever take me nowhere near the state of peace nowhere near joy and so uh, what if you decide, okay, I'm gonna trust in the divine design. I'm gonna trust that this situation right here is happening for me so that, I, so that I can in some way forgive my misperceptions, release my judgments, and uh, let go of that ego's rat race. The ego's rat race that always uh, takes you through judgment and anger and resentment and hatred and, and all that. All those are just races. <laughs> You're making uh, uh, during the day by following the ego's programming, by following the ego's directions. And so let go of the ego's directions, let go of all its rat races. You've already traveled through judgment, through anger, through resentment, through hatred, <laughs> through worry, through anxiousness, through fear. You've already traveled all those roads. They're just little hamster wheels. You always get to the same place. So chaos, confusion, um, lack of peace, lack of joy. It's all the same result. I mean, we all know this. And uh, so instead, choose to look at your brothers and sisters, your co-workers through God's eyes, through love's eyes, and have greater compassion for them. And trust that whatever it is they're going through and they're processing, that's perfect for them. That's between them and God. And they will grow exactly when they need to grow at the exact same rate and you can understand that and be a little more compassionate a little more forgiving and what what does that bring you it brings you peace it makes you feel good that you're able to raise above that battleground of the ego and so <clears throat> we continue in our day we finish our our day and then when we're driving at home to home at night and we might feel anxious or fearful because it's too dark or what have you, too rainy. And uh, again, you fall into the ego's rat race of anxiousness, of worry, of fear, the hamster wheel, the ego's hamster wheel. Because we always don't know where that gets us. It gets us nowhere to a state of peace. And so what if we just said, okay, I'm a little anxious right now. I'm gonna say a little prayer and ask God for, to bring me peace and maybe just slow down a little bit and, and trust that God has my back and that I'm gonna be okay driving home. <laughs> and then you get home and then you start thinking about, the eagle says, start thinking about tomorrow, start worrying about tomorrow. Uh, and then so you just continue on that hamster wheel of worry and anxiousness and, and fear. And so why not just practice in that moment whenever the eagle's programming starts to take control of your mind, stop and say, okay, I'm gonna to practice today to trusting in the divine design and trusting in divine timing. I'm gonna trust that everything is gonna get done when it, when it gets done. Yes, I'm always gonna do my best to try to hit all, all uh, my markers, hit all my deadlines, but in the end, God knows what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know the reason for everything that's going on or how whatever's going on is going to affect the the future we, we don't know that why don't you just, why don't we just put those anxiousness and worries and offer them to god 
Put all your heavy weight, anxiousness, and fear, and worry in God's hands. Let Him take care of that. You always do the best you can. You always act from a place of peace. And leave the rest to God. And by doing so, we start to awaken uh, and start letting go of that, that ego's rat, rat, rat race. Those continuous little hamster wheels in our heads that drive us to pain and anxiousness and worry and everything that we do not want, everything that we're not worthy of, everything that we're not here to do. We're here to be the light of the world. And we achieve that through our continuous trust in God, through our continuing trust that everything is gonna be okay because you align with the source and from a place of love, from a place of peace, you make decisions. You see the world through love's lens. And that ends the ego's rat race. And so let us be grateful for all those opportunities today that we have to practice in the ego's rat race. And let us be grateful for all those brothers and sisters who show us uh, those opportunities to practice letting go of this mindset that doesn't work for us and align the mindset that truly does. A mindset that brings us back to the state of peace. All right. Thank you very much. I love you very much. Uh, if you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, it would help with the listening process. If you made it this far, extra love for you. And God willing, we will see each other tomorrow. Peace.